Hey folks, it's dinner time. I think Scruffy's running late, so <clears throat> I'm curious if we're gonna get to start it quickly or slowly. And he's already backing up, so I guess maybe it's gonna be quickly. So the reason I said that was because when I turned on the lights, I was actually running maybe 15 minutes late, <clears throat> and he was on the table. I think he was sleeping when I woke him up. Hey Scruffy, how you doing? So you ready for food? So I got your meaty pate with real chicken and uh, I think it's just real chicken. Okay, so I put it on the table. Is that a hiss? I'm not sure. He's looking at the table and not him. Okay, I'm closing the door, I'm gonna walk past you, and then we change your water. Okay, so I've got your new water, put it in, there you go. Sit up, or <clears throat> stand up, and sit in the chair. Okay. Now I'm going to grab the glove. And he's walking over to the glove. I'm still trying to get it on. Okay. Hey, you doing, Scruffy? Usually he walks over to the other side. There we go. Yeah. Don't know what the hit, that what hiss was about. Why are you hissing at me? Seems like you want it to be pet. Okay. So he's turned a little bit. compared to normal, but okay now yeah we're about <clears throat> our regular positions here. Hmm. Not sure why you're hissing at me today. So um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna hiss back tonight. That's not my plan. Because, yeah, I'm still worried. Yeah, we might still be in fragile territory from uh, three days ago, was it? But uh, I'm kind of hoping. Yeah, we've moved past that. So I did see Scruffy sleeping on the deck today. I think he was under the the round table over there, and so it seemed like he was back to normal. And it cooled down a little bit today, so it's not as uh, warm as it's been the past several days, but still pretty nice. The wind died down, so we don't have the big wind chill factor. It's actually blowing kind of hard last night. I kept rattling my windows, and I think some tree or something's hitting like the roof of my house or something because I kept hearing that. I was trying to figure out which tree it was. I went out in the middle of the night to look at it, and I couldn't figure it out. Probably the wind stopped blowing long enough for me not to see it. Just my luck. Okay. So we're using his there again. So 
So <clears throat> kind of presume Scruffy is back normal since he was sleeping on the deck and uh, seemed pretty carefree. <clears throat> I didn't see those fighting cats again today. So I did look, keep a lookout for them. So I, yeah, so, so my day started kind of weird. So I tried going to sleep last night, normal time. And they couldn't get to sleep. I think I was up all night, tossing and turning. I think I finally decided to get out of bed around 5 a.m., maybe a little sooner than that. It was four something. And, uh, did some <clears throat> work on the computer. And then I think maybe around, around eight, eight or nine in the morning, finally went to went to sleep. <laughs> Woke up at I think a one in the afternoon. So my day's all screwed up. And I'm worried, you know, the my following days are gonna be all screwed up. So I'm probably gonna take a sleeping pill tonight, try to get back on a normal schedule. But, um, so I was planning on taking some sort of recovery or rest day today. Um, so I ended up, yeah, no bicycle ride, no run. Ended up doing pull ups. And then I decided to go for a walk. And so while I was at the walk, I was you know, trying to see if I could find those fighting cats again. Didn't see him. I saw a gray cat with black stripes in front of that. I think that's a trill. In front of the house with that. Uh, I think the woman there feeds the cat in front and uh, she leaves food out in the doorway. So I saw that cat hanging out. Keep forgetting to bring food because I probably could have pet that one. That one's actually let me pet it before. So that one's kind of tame. Probably a stray, uh, not a feral. <clears throat> so I ended up taking a longer walk than I thought I would. So I ended up doing the full three laps of my running route except walking, so that took me well over an hour, probably like an hour and a half, close to maybe two hours, so, so, he's moving around a lot, so it's actually worrying me a little bit, so I was going to get your food right about now. Seem to be enjoying the rubbing. Of course, I don't want to overstimulate you because you tend to scratch when you do that when that happens. So I think I'm going to end this really soon. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this up. Want to get some food? Okay, how we eat your food? Okay. <clears throat> Ready for some food? Grab the plate. So here's your food. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the brush. And yeah, his hair is kind of all. Oh no, it's a little. It's kind of wavy. Kind of sticking up. It's not tangled or anything. So I think he might be shedding his uh, winter coat. 
So you notice when he's lying out on the, whoops, ready? Yeah. When he's lying out on the deck, I'm seeing more of his white fur. Ooh. He didn't hiss there, but yeah, you're kind of jumpy today. What's wrong, Scruffy? You didn't do anything. This is kind of peculiar behavior. Okay, I'm gonna put down this brush. I think I don't know. Maybe he's feeling something on his right side. I'm gonna pick up the other brush though. Start with this side. Okay, so he's tolerating this brush. And I'll flip it over to the soft side. I'm not sure what's bothering Scruffy tonight. Cause yeah, he's he's a little more jumpy than usual. And, oops. So he's turning to his normal position now, so maybe he's not so... so maybe he's calming down now. Stop now. So I'm gonna put down the brush. <clears throat> so I don't know if this is related to what happened three days ago or if it's just something weird. So anyway, yeah. So I went for a longer walk and uh, ended up blocking the whole thing. I was using the shoes where I think I was getting blisters and yeah, I'm starting to feel some friction again so I think I need to get new shoes. But anyway, so I got back a little bit on the later side so that's why I start dinner probably about 15 minutes later than usual. So when I turn on the lights, um, <clears throat> I was trying to get the food together and then I noticed, yeah, he was jumping off the table. So usually by then he's been at the door for a while. I'd say like an hour. Um, so I was kind of surprised to see he was still on the table. The sun's already set. So I don't know, he might be having kind of an off schedule too. So maybe that's also why he's acting weird. Because yeah, he's not uh, on a normal schedule either. So maybe he didn't sleep well last night either. I looked for him, I didn't see him. So last night, you know, I was 
keeping an eye out to see if he was on the table again, but or down here, but I didn't see him. So I think he was sound asleep when I was doing pull-ups. Before I started, I was looking out here and he was yeah, sleeping on the deck. I think he was all stretched out. So there was one point, you know, so earlier in the day he was, I think, under the round table. And then uh, later in the day he was more stretched out, I think, still under the round table. He looked really comfortable when he was stretched out, so I don't think he's harboring lingering issues from, from three days ago. So I think he's just acting weird today. Because he wasn't this bad last night. He was actually pretty good last night, except for the hiss that when I first came out. I was actually starting to wonder if the hiss was because he didn't like the sound of the screen door squeaking. Uh, I reviewed the video and I think he reacted, I think, at the end of the screen door squeaking. So, I reviewed a couple other videos now and he hissed at me before when I opened the screen door. Um, but I didn't see the same pattern, so. Based on the other videos I saw, I don't think it was the noise from the screen door. I think he's just listening to me. But as a theory, it was entertaining. But I think, yeah. Tonight it didn't have anything to do with the screen door. I have an itch in my leg. Hope he didn't give me fleas. So yeah, I probably need to think about giving him another flea pill. But today his fur doesn't look too bad, so maybe the fleas are gone. So I think last week I was actually contemplating since things were going so well last week, I was contemplating you know, as a way I can escalate teaming him so I can get a collar on him, a flea collar. But uh, based on what's happened this week, I don't think that's going to happen. So, I don't know what his deal is. I <clears throat> thought we had a pretty good. Uh, session overall. I don't know why he was acting so weird today. So now he's he moved away, kind of hiding from me in that corner there. Yeah, it's better than him walking around the corner, going away. But still, yeah, kind of bizarre. He also ate a little faster than usual. We didn't clean the bowl. There's still, still a lot of smeared pate on the bottom of the bowl. <clears throat> so tomorrow. I was planning to do intervals again, but since I didn't sleep well last night, and then my feet were starting to feel like they're going to blister up again, uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I should have just completely took it easy today or not. So I'm going to play it by ear tomorrow. Let's see if I feel like running. And I hate sleeping pills because yeah, when I take them, I'm always kind of groggy the next day.
<clears throat> I guess I can take off the glove. And once I do that, I can pinch zoom. So I mentioned I collected a stick from the park that was going to turn into a stream delay. And the stick's gone missing. So I wonder if it got blown away or... Somebody picked it up. I left it outside in front of my house. So I have some really nice neighbors, so sometimes if they see debris, they might pick it up. So probably you know, didn't realize it's going to use it for something. Yeah, one thing that I miss about moving away, I actually have pretty good neighbors. Actually, I'd say I have really good neighbors. So. <clears throat> it's definitely another downside to leaving. choice in the matter. So hope is not a strategy. Trying to think if there's anything else interesting going on in the neighborhood. So, I didn't see any other cats today. Squirrels in the park as usual. Didn't see any bunny rabbits today. So I mentioned, you know, one time I saw somebody bring a bunny rabbit. I think it was on a leash at the park. I've never seen that before. Yeah, an elusive person. And then I mentioned the uh, other day when I was bicycling at that park. Which is kind of like a, it's not really, it's like a, well, I don't want to say national park, but you know, it's, it's like a foresty like park. It's not like a playground type park. And so somebody had a bunny rabbit sitting next to them. I think it was their pet. And I was kind of shocked that you know, they just let the bunny rabbit just kind of, you know, free, free reign because, you know, it's like a forest there. So the bunny rabbit runs into the brush. Yeah, you're probably not going to get the bunny back. And then there's like a, where I was, or where we were, there was a big creek. So there's a big path, or not a big path, there's like a small path where you can walk or bike or, or a horseback. And then you can, um, Uh, there's a creek on one side and uh, kind of a mountain wall on the other, and um, and so the other thing is, yeah, what if the rabbit decided to jump uh, in the creek? <laughs> You're not going to get the and uh, it's actually more of a creek bed because it's so dry that there's barely any water in there. But anyway, I guess that's it for tonight, folks. Um, it was kind of a weird night with Scruffy. I'm not sure why he's behaving so weirdly, but. Hopefully it'll be better tomorrow. So I'll uh, see you then. Thanks for watching. Bye.